Hello everybody, this is Kiro and Luck to the Long Dark. I literally just bought this game uh, because I saw a gameplay video of it uh, 10 minutes ago and it looked really interesting to me. Uh, everything I know about this game is that it was released a little while back and the idea of the game is that you are a survivor who crashed in a winter landscape and will have to survive. It's more of a simulation, not a real gamey game kind of game but it seemed very fun to me so let's check what options we have this all seems good yeah key bindings let's quickly check these also we'll strike match okay so five panel inventory firearm leather decoy okay all right okay once again, I am playing this completely blind, I've never played this game before. And everything I know about it, I know from the 5 minutes of gameplay that I've seen, which is very little. So, let's see how we'll do. Okay. Alright, so the story isn't available, let's play Sandbox. Voyager, you are an explorer, in equal parts hunter and hunted. The world will not give you anything freely, but you'll find that with, with, with time you can master it. Okay, so this is the difficulty settings. Using the challenging exploration survival experience, but not the punishing one. We've got Stalker, which is a hard difficulty, I guess, and Pilgrim, which is more of a exploration kind of type of gameplay. Alright, so let's go for the medium one and see what we do. I'm a guy. Oh. Okay, we've got Mystery Lake and Coastal Highway. Alright, well, let's go for Mystery Lake. A mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Can Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? Let's see how long we can survive. Okay, so here we are, this is the game, pretty good looking graphics, nothing too complicated, and I can see myself breathing, so it's uh, pretty damn cold, got some houses in the distance there, okay, so I press tab and get this information, alright, so here I can see the temperature, and what kind of bonuses I get from my clothing, and my personal statistics, which are increasing kind of fast. I'm getting cold, I'm not tired, I'm not really hungry yet, I think, and I'm thirsty. Okay, before I check the rest of my equipment and stuff, I think I need to get my ass inside. So let's do that. More sensitive is a bit high though. Let's see if we can lower that. Something like 10% should be fine. Yeah, that's better. Alright, let's get to those houses. Oh, there's a deer over yonder, but I don't think I have any weapons. Oh, I got a flare. But I don't have anything to take the deer out, so. Let's just see if we can get some shelter and check out our inventory and stuff. A logging camp. Oh, looks like a Windows logo. Alright, we got ourselves in the trailer. It's nice and warm here. Ah, uh, we got the body over here, I think. Oh, a frozen corpse. That's ominous. Nothing in there. Okay, this bed that I can rest in. Mm, nothing else, really. Oh, a lamp. That's good. 
Burn proof storm lantern. Burns kerosene. Uh, let's take it with us. There's not too many shells. Uh -huh. mm, that's it. Squad items. Uh, let's see what we got here. Aren't that gold? That's good, my gold stat is going down. This is kind of equipment we got here. Fuel source, antibiotics, antiseptic, bandages. We've got some basic boots and gloves that we're wearing. A bedroll, in case you want to sleep, it's good. We've got some nice long underwear. Cotton long johns. Flare we just saw. Oh, storm lantern. We've got a sweater. Thunder and a attack. Okay, I guess it's a cap of some kind. Um, okay, I think I can find wood with this. Let's go back. This is my lock. I can repair items here. Okay, I can repair my clothes and stuff with this. But I don't have any tools to do that with. Uh, chance of success is 0% at this point. So we can't do that yet. We've got some first aid. Some bandages we can use. Some medication we saw in the inventory probably. And I'm thinking this will show any afflictions that we will have. We can start a fire. Okay, yeah, in case we are outside and uh, need warmth. That's a bad roll. Yeah, I don't want to place that yet. I don't even know if it's single use or not. That's that. Okay, right clicking. And harvest does what? Okay, we can basically reverse engineer our clothes here into whatever items they're made of. Well, let's see if we can forge some wood. Estimated time is 20 minutes. We will burn 83 calories and that, that seems like it would be worth it. Okay, so you don't actually need to go inside and get the wood yourself. That's a gameplay mechanic I didn't expect. Uh, find some more tinder plugs. Alright, that'll be good in case we need to start a fire. Alright, I do hear a lot of wind outside though, so I don't know if it's viable yet to go back outside. And so let's take a little rest, why not? Next to this frozen corpse. That'll be good for the morale. Oh, let's rest. No, let's just rest for an hour. No, we did just crash land into a mountain, so. I reckon you could use a power nap. Okay, let's see what it's like with sights. Okay, we've got a bit of a snowstorm setting up here, or at least some harsh winds. I'm gonna go and check the other cabins. There's nothing here. Check this place out. Oh, flare. Hope nobody needs this anymore. No. Drawer. Oh, nice. We got some gloves. That's good. Let's see if you can put those babies on. Oh, they're pretty much the same that we had already. Well, 
I don't seem to be encumbered yet, so I'm gonna keep these with me in case uh, the other ones get damaged or whatever. We'll see. What have we here? Energy bar, it's good, got some food. Some drinks. That's good, I guess, since I seem to be getting thirsty. I shall go ahead and drink that. What was it? Grape soda that I found. Alright. That's nice and refreshing. That'll come in handy. Matches. Seem to be finding a lot of stuff already. Let's search all these boxes. Alright, more gloves. I'm gonna be like the glove master or something. Let's check the last house. Maybe those portal bodies. I can open those. I could use this. Okay, look nice. We find some beans. That's good. That'll help us become a survival bum. Uh sewing kits. So that means we can probably repair our clothes. Can opener. Alright. More useful tools, I'm sure. New sprint roll that can be used as tinder. Alright, useful. More energy bar. Oh, let's see what's in this drawer. Mm, that's it. Thinking I've seen everything here. Alright, so priorities should be find shelter, get some drinks, because I think you can survive longer um, without food than without liquids. And make sure we're well stocked up on supplies like yeah, drinks and uh, and food. <coughs> and maybe find some warmer clothes as well. I've got some dinner to start fires with if it's needed, and I got a bathroom. So, I don't really know where to go. Came from the hill, so let's go. I don't know. This way, why not? See so if we can find, maybe find some civilization or some more houses that we can find supplies in. Or maybe a weapon that we can use to kill wildlife. We'll see. I am sprinting though, I don't know if that's like detrimental to my calorie supply, but we'll see. The game does manage to really convey the whole atmosphere that you're stranded here all alone, you have to uh, scavenge for yourself. I like that. Also, the way you see yourself breathe really brings home the point that's very cool and you need to get shelter. Okay, we've got a clearing here. And uh, is that a road sign? I believe it could be. Let's check it out. Maybe that can tell us where to go. Train loading area. Okay. Hmm. 
ravaged deer carcass. Can I get some food from this? Requires tool. Okay, cannot use it because it's frozen. Can I cut it? Nope. Can't do anything with this. Okay. I got a frozen corpse. Maybe. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Ah, okay, I cannot dog food. Delish. I'm thinking that if I follow the tracks, I should end up at either a railway station or anything. I'll probably use the tracks to um, to move food back to civilization. Well, just get on my way, I guess. Oh, you stop here. <laughs> okay. Oh, we've got some wildlife there. Looks like a wolf chasing a deer. I heard the tracks. Don't seem to be this cold yet, so that's good. I am getting hungry though. So let's pop one of these bars that we found. Healthy stuff. We got some 500 calories. Alright, let's just keep us going for a while. Ah yes, is that a building? Looks like it is. Right, I'm gonna cross, cross this bridge and... Well, it might even be a dam or something. Yeah, it looks like a dam. It's a damn dam. My breathing does pick up though, so I might be running too fast. But I don't see anything that indicates this. Okay, maybe the bread is the only indicator. Yep, Hydro Dam. Wow, this place sure is abandoned. Spooky. I'm loving how the light is like falling through these windows. It's pretty damn cool. What right. are we here? We got another lantern. And this one is in better condition than the previous one. That's good. Can barely see anything here though. Let's see if we can get all of these lanterns going. Alright, there we go. Oh, a bullet. That'll come in handy. Yep, for whenever I'll find a gun. So let's take this with me. Nothing in these boxes. Okay. Oh shit, okay, that's it. I'm being attacked by something. Oh, alright. Guess I got killed by a wolf. I was hiding inside the dam. No, oh, I survived for 4 hours and 55 minutes. So I'm definitely gonna try this game again though, it's very interesting. Well, thanks for watching and. See you next time.